Hello. In this video, we're looking at an endgame katana build for Stranger of Paradise. And even though this could have been uh, Dark Knight or Samurai or Ronin, uh, we're going to use Breaker in this video. And uh, as strange as this sounds, we're not actually using the job action, even though we could. Uh, we're using Breaker because of how much strength it gets and and trying to squeeze the strength out of that. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, timestamps in the description to jump around, and, uh, we'll, we'll kind of go over the job affinities, uh, we'll call it in the order of, well, I guess importance, is, uh, Samurai 600% is probably the big one. Uh, whenever you trigger a combo ability effect, you also trigger a parry or rather the parry buffs. So in our case, we have a lot of parry MP recovery on our master points where, um, I don't actually see it on this screen right now. Oh, there it is. Uh, so we get uh, near the bottom there, it says parry MP recovery, 84%. So we get a lot of MP back if we trigger a combo ability effect. Whoops. Uh, and so what that is, is the, the breaker, unfortunately, doesn't get one until the third attack link. So these first two combo abilities, there's a diamond shape next to the input on the left there. But on the third link, there's a circle to the left. And at the top center, it says ambitious edge. So whenever you see that circle next to the input, it means there's a combo ability effect on that spot, like Swift Steel. If I do a normal attack, or then a Ford attack, and then the um, the uh, combo ability button, uh, I, I would I would then potentially benefit from this combo ability if or, or uh, well yeah benefit from the combo ability effect. And if the no oh well. In order to get the combo ability effect to work, you have to hit the enemy with a normal attack and then the combo ability button. So if I swing at nothing, I don't benefit from uh, this third effect, Ambitious Edge. Versus Sension Stance, uh, you don't actually have to hit the enemy. You can still... Uh, oh, and you also don't have to do a normal attack. You can still just do your three moves, and then on that third move, you're going to trigger Ambitious Edge, which then triggers all the parry buffs, um, which would trigger all the parry MP recovery. And that would let us just kind of keep going, as long as we had enough MP to reach that step. Another thing that's going to happen is Samurai 400%. Every successful parry causes the next... Uh, ability to critical hit. Now, we're not a break damage build, so all the agility and the critical hits, we don't care for it except for two reasons on this specific build. One is we're using the Hunter's Analyze. And, oops, I'm sorry. And on Analyze, uh, Analyze Mastery says, a critical hit grants two stacks of the Analyze effect. And that analyze effect is, oh, you get, you bypass a little bit of the enemy's physical resistance um, with up to 50 stacks. Or uh, actually, we're, we're, we're using the Machinist version, so up to 99 stacks. And this is a physical damage multiplier for, for HP damage. And so uh, that, that's in a separate bucket then all of the damage delts on your gear and master points and uh so your strength all your damage delts and then the, the the physical damage multiplier that's bypassing all those resistances all those just just create we'll, we'll call it too much destruction so um critical hits let us build those stacks even faster and so that's why uh, Samurai 400% is even more helpful on this type of setup if we critical hit, which uh, ideally we'd want a critical hit with a move that has lots of 
hits in there, which we are not. Um, sorry if you hear that uh, going around. That's like cough drops. Uh, so let's let's actually switch a th few things around. Yagiri, and then we'll have uh, the Hisatsu Murakumu on the, the last slot, because that's at least two hits. Um, and so, uh, just the one. <coughs> Sorry. Next, we have Ronin 400% to get access to all the combo abilities on the Katana, because there's just, there's a lot. And uh, the, the great thing is on Senjin Stance, you can slot any of the combo abilities. Um, and then on top of that, there's a damage dealt with Katana combo abilities. That's a 40% damage dealt boost that also affect, uh, affects break damage, which we're not as interested in, but it does affect it. And then we have this uh, Ronin 600%. It pretty much halves the cost of katana combo abilities, and so uh, even though we get a lot of MP back once we get going, at first we're going to be MP starved, and uh, that that won't be too good. Now, the rest of this is we'll call it convenience or stats. So, breaker past. 800% you're getting all this extra strength and we want that strength. Uh, the Dragoon 400% that's attack speed during Lightbringer or Dimension Bringer or Chaos Bringer but uh, just we, we attack faster so that's nice. And then just as a little side effect Dragoon 600% I had that here because I thought well there's a tiny little Lancet effect that's recovering MP whenever I hit the enemy. Maybe I need some MP along the way to get to that third combo ability or the, the forward attack combo ability effect. And uh, the idea was that I'll get a little bit more MP trickling in through Dragoon 600% instead of allocating an entire Lancet command ability for this. But you don't need 600%. Uh, the 400% is a nice enough convenience. The 600% is because I wanted to try it out, and I don't feel like fusing anything else at the moment. <clears throat> and then we have the Void Knight 600%, which gives you haste. This is a convenience. This gives you haste if your max MP is 4 bars or higher. Uh, so I, I like having that extra haste. And then because we do have Yagiri here, as well as... Um, if we decided to use uh, the, the Zantetsuken from the Breaker job action, or Annihilating Light, or whichever one you use, that you could reduce the charge time a little bit with Red Mage 250%. You don't need this. Uh, but I, I do have it in there because I thought, I'm going to use these charge-up skills. And uh, things probably just didn't really pan out that way. Uh, on my accessory, I do have the lion heart for uh, th just to, during Lightbringer. I don't take any HP damage, or, um, or, or or yeah, or during Dimension Bringer, whatever have you. Uh, so just a heads up: if if your gear doesn't have like if you just can't fit this onto your gear, that's that's what Knight four hundred percent would be. Um, you you end up just swapping something out for knight 400 percent so uh, in my case i would have gotten rid of the red mage and maybe this breaker or one of the dragoons so red mage and dragoon go away and now i have knight 400 percent um and if i have to uh, fit anything else on the dragoon would probably go away next so that i could fit in paladin 400 percent so that I'm immune to all status ailments. Uh, let's talk about that actually on the gear. So across my gear, I do have status ailment resistance so that the total of that, let me find the other one. The total of that plus my um, evocation or ultima class equals 100% status ailment resistance. So I cannot get poisoned, silenced, petrified, or paralyzed, slowed, or cursed. Uh, and that's just, 
passively happening. So uh, instead of Paladin 400% or a ribbon, that's how I'm getting that uh, resistance. Pardon me. <clears throat> Actually, I guess the next step is looking at our gear. Uh, on every single piece of gear, I tried to, and this is just for this build. You don't have to do it this way. Uh, I do have damage dealt katana combo ability. I have strength. And then I tried to squeeze agility on each piece of gear, even if that came at a loss of damage per hit. Um, some pieces of gear, I thought, I'm going to make a Yagiri build. And that's where the damage dealt Yagiri comes in. But... Uh, you might see me not use it anywhere as often as I probably should. Now, after I get my damage taken at max HP or some type of damage taken you can benefit from, uh, I got that all the way up to about 100% across my gear. And then after that, that's where I start uh, going for some type of damage dealt, like during Lightbringer damage dealt because that was the highest value I can take advantage of at the time. And then uh, another thing that's across my gear is, well, even though I do have one Fenrir piece, it's because at the time I did not have an Odin Katana. Um, and so I do have Odin pieces across my gear because Odin brings out the most strength out of your jobs. So however much Odin percentage you have gives you the, all the more strength. And Breaker is the job that gives you the most strength. Uh, just they, they have the most strength in the game. And Odin is the blessing that pulls out the most strength. And so with their powers combined, you're supposed to get a lot of strength. Uh, more than you would actually need in order to clear content effectively. But we're still squeezing it out of there. Because we do fight against bosses that have a lot of physical defense. Uh, the, uh, yeah, and the Fen River's here because it's like the second most amount of strength and agil uh, uh, the most agility you can get and the second most strength you can get out of your blessings. Uh, alongside Ifrit and Alexander also tying for second place strength. So I could have done those as well. And then... On my accessory, I, because it's an end game build, I do have an Ifrit's primary blessing badge that would give me this brief red flash of, hey, it's time to uh, time the combo ability button just right, and then you get this big boost in damage and break damage. Um, but I'm not always going to hit that, but I'm going to try. Actually, let's let's switch some of this back. Uh, you know what? Sorry. I know this is like, man, can this guy make up his mind? Anywho. Um, and it doesn't have to be Hisatsu Murakumo. It could be, I, I would recommend just ones that hit friggin' hard, whether that's Heaven's Fall, Hisatsu Murakumo, Yagiri being probably the hardest hitting one because you can charge it up. Uh, I'm sorry, of the Katana abilities. Annihilating Light or... Zantetsuken are, are just, that's not a katana ability. Even if you summon a giant blade from the sky to swing at someone, uh, it does not benefit from damage dealt katana combo ability. Um, but it still might look nice. Uh, so, anywho. Sorry, losing momentum here. Brain is, is feeling weird. Uh... Command abilities. We have the Mighty Strikes. Let's you bypass the enemy's physical defense. It's like having like 28 to 30 stacks of Analyze, except you can't improve it any more than what it's here. Like there's no improved effect Mighty Strikes. Uh, we have the Barrage, so that based on the amount of agility you have compared to the enemy, you get an extra hit, maybe more than one extra hit. And if you don't have enough agility, then you don't do full damage, or you don't do as much damage on that second hit. But in our case, we're still going to benefit from this, because on our other job, we have improved effect barrage. And we also have a good amount of, of agility on breaker. We don't have enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Merilith, um, 
but against a, a BK or maybe an Iron Giant, uh, we, we get to hurt them pretty good. And then we have Lunatic for the attack speed, because I like attack speed. And then we have Lightbringer to serve as both our break gauge and as our lifeline for survival. And now let's talk about the other job. <laughs> it's like 12 minutes later. So we have the Hunter Machinist version here, where Machinist lets you build those bypass resistant stacks, the physical damage multiplier up to 99 stacks. And um, by default, it only lasts 15 seconds. So that's, that's kind of unfortunate. But let's talk about some of the things that we're doing to try to mitigate some of that. As well as, uh, well, let, let's talk about the, the, the Lightbringer spam, uh, the infamous Lightbringer spam. So we have Cyclic Warrior, 600%. Every time you do a Lightbringer or a Dimension Bringer or, or even a Chaos Bringer, uh, you trigger a Soul Shield, except Chaos Bringer, this, you only do it once and that's it. Um, but you trigger a Soul Shield, and a Soul Shield recovers some MP, and recovers some max MP, or builds max MP, uh, when it's done through the Cyclic Warrior 600% job affinity. Um, and so then we have Void Knight 120% and 50% that increases your MP limit boost rate, which is, uh, you get even more max MP. Sorry. Uh, you get even more max MP based on soul shielding, so that helps. And then, for some odd reason, Evoker 120% and 50% whenever you do a soul shield. Uh, it's supposed to only just recover your allies' MP, but when you're doing it through Cyclic Warrior 600%, uh, it also builds Jack's MP and Max MP, even though it doesn't. it's not documented anywhere. Uh, it was escalated, and it never got fixed, and I figure... Got escalated twice. Uh, now it's just a feature. Um, because that was the final patch was a year ago. Uh, and then we have uh, we have the Leviathan primary blessing on at least one piece of gear. So every time we do a soul shield, we recover even more MP and more max MP. And then on top of that, we have master points at the bottom there where it says at the bottom center it says increase mp limit boost rate 60.1 percent those are from category four master points now if you're not job level like 300 or 285 you are going to lose some max mp when you do this or if you have certain dragon trials on you're going to lose max mp when you do this light bringer or dimension bringer but at least you don't lose anywhere as much as if you were just doing this without, um, what's the word here? Uh, if you weren't doing it, if you were doing this without any of these, uh, the setup. Uh, I'm sorry, one other thing here that I forgot to mention. Void Knight 400% reduces the command ability cost. Uh, so that, that'll cut your cost down of command abilities by... It'll feel like 25% based on the formula, um, where if you ever needed to add it with other effects, uh, like MP cost, like Mighty Strikes or MP cost Barrage or MP cost Lunatic, uh, just know that it's the equivalent of 34% um, when you're tallying up with the formula. But it'll feel like 25% based on how the formula calculates all that. So there, that's, that's here for the Lightbringer spam. And then, as a going back to how do we extend the buff, uh, we have Summoner 400%. Every time you do a Soul Shield, you get or refresh the duration of your buffs a little bit. And then, as a bonus, we have Summoner 600%, increases the potency of your primary summon's blessing. In this case, the Leviathan effect that recovers even more MP and max MP when you do a soul shield. And so the idea is that we do a light bringer or a dimension bringer and we trigger all these soul shield effects and benefit from that and try to sustain or maintain light bringer or dimension bringer spam. 
Now, some other things we have on this second job, uh, we have um, my personal preference for, for this specific route was having white mage 120% and 50% so that the buff durations are about 20% longer. But then on top of that, I needed some, or let me rephrase this, I wanted some type of soul shield stat stacks that transfer over to the main job. And so uh, the white mage 600% was how I achieved that. The side effect is if I do get uh, defeated, white mage 400% will revive me one time if I happen to die while I'm on the hunter. But uh, the, the white mage 600%, and this could have been breaker, uh, knight, paladin, thief, assassin, black or black mage uh, they, they all could have been six one of those could have been 600 percent or i could have had a bahamut primary blessing or badge it starts letting you build uh stats with every soul shield but it's it's uh you're going to see a counter that shows up and that that counter will go from zero to 20 by the time i do 20 soul shields and while i'm on the hunter i'm going to get 30 extra spirit that's not very much but because i have 20 soul shield stacks when i switch to the breaker i'm going to be benefiting from the breaker 600 percent so for every soul shield stack i have and i transfer over i i get strength which in this case is only 30 strength um but it's 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 there and i Probably should make a whole separate video on just that topic alone uh, to demonstrate that. But you don't have to actually have this. This is just, I wanted the extra 30 strength when I soul shield that many times. Now the Hunter 400%, this is my backup plan in case I completely run out of MP. I could pull out a gun and start shooting the enemy and I get a flat amount of MP back based on uh, just every hit. So this was a backup. And then at some point I thought, hey, I might uh, actually chain cancel from uh, Hunter and that way my breaker will have like five seconds of a damage boost. I I'm not actually going to be using this anywhere as often as I'd like to on this version of the build. Samurai 250%, every time you chain cancel you get a damage boost for about uh, five seconds. And then, uh, I'm sorry, going back to Summoner one more time, we have Summoner 120% and the 50% every time you do a chain cancel, which is pressing the job change button in the middle of a combo ability action or, uh, yeah, in the middle of a combo abilities animation. Or if your job action has like a, an actual full animation, uh, pressing the, the job change button will give you max MP. Wow, this video is so boring. It was like we're at 23 minutes, haven't even fought anything yet. Um, and then we have Gambler 120% for both the 50% and the 120%. So every time I chain cancel, I get a random amount of MP back based on my luck. And the hope there is that I get enough to maybe start going if I'm on the world map and I'm co-oping or I join someone else's rift or I'm in an untimed rift and I just have time to actually chain cancel to get my mp up uh but the way we're set up right now this is not meant to be something we can sustain and there's going to be times where we might have to shoot someone as vulgar as that sounds um also the accessory i still have lionheart and because i didn't optimize the gear in this save i actually have a badge uh fused over for perpetual leviathan's primary blessing but if uh, I do have a piece of gear that has that on. Uh, looking at the actual gear effects, we have improved effect analyze on every single piece of gear, or at least that's my hope. Uh, and for now, we have Carbuncle because that brought out some luck that would help with Gambler 120%. Some pieces of gear I actually do have MP cost analyze, but uh, the thing that I'm really trying to go for is improved effect analyze, improved effect barrage, lightbringer duration, buff duration, and then the third one, or the last slot, in this case luck, is kind of in the air. 
Uh, sometimes you might see status ailment resistance. Sometimes you might see damage taken at max MP. And then on my gun, uh, you saw like just what the heck is that? And that's because it was for a different build and I didn't bother switching it out just to make it like perfect for a, a support build. Um, I'm sorry, the other thing, improved effect analyze, that does impact heart shot and that uh, just makes the, the, the physical damage multiplier all that more devastating. And then same thing with, uh, not same thing, similar thing with improved effect barrage, helping out our barrage so that we get more damage out of this buff in the end. Yeah, this is this is a really long video. I apologize. Um, so we have the breaker job affinity here. I'm sorry, we have the breaker master points. Master points are next. We have strength because we want more damage. We have breaker job affinity to get even more strength. We have agility because that might help out with the barrage a little bit. We'll come back to that one. This is no longer relevant because we're not actually doing uh, Dark Knight anymore. Uh, we have parry MP recovery. This is going to be a big thing that we do. And then uh, let's say that we just want some extra damage dealt. We can just throw that on to the During Light Bringer damage dealt for now. I don't think I have anything else on this. So um, yeah, mostly Category 1 points for Breaker. And then on the Hunter, uh, let's start from the most important one, increase MP limit boost rate on Category 4. That's how we start, that's how we help out with the infinite Lightbringer spam. It's not infinite, but it'll feel like that. Um, and then we have Lightbringer duration so that our Lightbringers last a lot longer. Instead of just 20 seconds, they could end up lasting like 60 seconds if we stack this all up. And then for my own sanity and convenience, I do have buff duration so that Analyze lasts longer than 15 seconds uh, before Trials. And then, just to help out a little bit, I do have some Soul Shield MP recovery, because as you start doing the Lightbringer spam, uh, the closer you get to 6 bars of MP, and you start getting these MP uh, recovery trials, you might do a Lightbringer and not actually have a full bar of MP after you finish doing it. And uh, Soul Shield MP recovery just helps with the regular MP, not not the max MP, just the regular MP. And then sometimes during these max MP and MP recovery trials, I do have some soul burst MP recovery to help out just to try to rebuild my max MP when I soul burst the boss phase. And then uh, just for my own personal preference, because I have Gambler 120%, I have Luck to help with the MP recovery. And then I have the Hunter job affinity um, to try to get the 400% so I can shoot someone when things go really bad. So you can probably tell I'm just like struggling here and I just trying to get something out so that uh, <laughs> you, you have some reference for Katana even if it's like really long video. Um, but we'll try to make up with uh, make make up for it by having more combat at the end. Maybe not. Uh, NPC jobs. We have Jed on Samurai because Samurai gets a good chunk of strength and agility, and we benefit from his stats because of Liberator 600%, giving us 12% of all of Jed's stats, even if it doesn't show up on the UI. And then the rest of his build is just trying to squeeze more strength out. I'm sorry, Liberator 600% only works while they're alive. So how do we keep our NPCs alive? Through Lionheart. Uh, the Lionheart accessory, if you press the direction pad left or right, uh, or on the keyboard, the letters R or T, uh, Jed is going to be invincible for as long as his Lightbringer duration lasts. Uh, and, and that might be 20 to 50 seconds. Um, or, or 60 seconds if you really stack it up. Actually, no, he, he, you can't get 60 seconds on the NPCs, I think. But, um, yeah, Jed will be an unkillable for 40 seconds or so. And uh, he'll be sharing those stats with me. Uh, Samurai and Breaker are here because after you go past 800%, after you clear the, the third DLC missions um, to unlock that, 
that extra uh, job affinity converts into stats. In this case, strength and uh, somewhat agility. And Samurai gets a lot of both uh, with only Assassin really coming ahead on the agility side. On the gear, it's uh, strength, agility, and Lightbringer duration, and Fenrir gear across the board, unless I didn't have a Fenrir piece that he could use. And, and after all this time, I still don't have a Fenrir headpiece that Jed can use, unless it's a double body part thing, and I just didn't feel like reorganizing my gear to make that happen. Uh, so yeah, Fenrir across the, the, the gear to bring out that strength and agility, more so the agility for in Jed's case. And then uh, looking at Sophia on Breaker because she gets more strength than any other NPC. And, um, and then she pretty much has all Odin gear because I just wanted more strength. Uh, she's not wearing that helmet. She's actually wearing something else. Uh, and I think at the time I didn't have Odin pants for her, so she was wearing Fenrir pants instead. But similar kind of deal. And I did have a different uh, build that I was working on, so that's why she's using Berserker to help me with the stamina side of things. Except that that didn't pan out too well. And so now that's just strength. But if I wanted more agility, that could have been uh, Samurai instead of Berserker. Okay, so we have a really long video here. We haven't actually fought anything. We are going to fight the wonderful Tiamat. Uh, let's talk about the, the, we'll call it the pre-battle setup. So first, I am going to chain cancel from my second job, uh, pushing the job action button and changing jobs constantly. And thanks to Summoner 120% and Gambler 120% and all the extra luck, and even, sorry, that's the other thing. I do have MP cost going on here. So the analyze is going to cost 100 MP in the end, but I still need at least 200 MP to start it up. But I'm going to chain cancel my way to full MP. Uh, this is not 100% reliable with the luck that I have, but that's also why I have the MP cost to analyze to make that more more consistent. Um, and then before battle, I will do a Lunatic, a Mighty Strikes. Uh, depending on the Dragon Trials, I may or may not do a Barrage right away. Uh, like, the, the buffing process will look like this. It'll look like Lunatic, Mighty Strikes, Barrage, and then I'll do the Analyze for Heart Shot, and then I'll switch over to um, Breaker with the Chain Cancel, then I'll do a Lightbringer, and then I'd run in there at this point. And notice how my durations, uh, they're, they're slowly going down at the bottom left corner, but I can keep doing these Lightbringers to try to bring them back up. And also notice that my Lightbringer bar is going up and down. So let's actually go... Oh, I'm sorry. And then before we actually go in here, we're, we're going to do a uh, D-pad left and right so that our allies are invincible. Now, uh, something earlier I mentioned was the Sentient Stance uh, and someone I 600%. If I... Like, like, okay, sorry. So, if I do the third combo ability, I don't actually re start recovering MP. But if I do the third Sentient Stance link, thanks to Summoner 600% and Parry H uh, MP recovery, I start recovering MP. And that's, that's going to keep me going. Uh, another thing is Garo goes into Sentient Stance. And while you're in Sentient Stance, you can end up spamming your abilities. And just kind of keep going that way and, and, and hope that you keep doing it until the boss is dead. Anywho, we're going to go in here and uh, buff up all the buffs.
And as quick as that looked, it, it could have been faster, but whatever. Uh, sorry. Oh, shoot. I hope I don't have to sort through inventory before. Okay, so here's the drawback. If we have to sort through inventory, the video's over. Um, let's hope that the auto dismantle kills enough of this that we don't have to do that. Oh, boy. Okay, we have enough time. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, go into the rift. Go into Hades. Okay. Oh, shoot, my controls are messed up. Let's do that. Uh, so, monsters in the rift. We have Sahagin for the strength. Tonberry for the strength. Behemoth for the combo ability stat bonus. And the damage dealt to bosses. Mostly because we're using combo abilities that use strength um extra damage that way and then we have the goblin for the agility and the wolf for the agility and the the idea is that uh even our allies share more agility with us but we also have more agility so now we have almost a ridiculous amount of strength actually that is a ridiculous amount of strength and now jed between sophia and jed i'm getting 200 plus strength and agility from them that's just putting me into we'll call it the ridiculous zone uh but let's look for a boss rush and um and then we'll wrap up the video uh after this boss rush so we we, we go with the dreaded deplete enemy buffs we hate these do we some some people love them because oh crap that's even worse let's go in so, here's an example of why we, uh, once you see that buff, I'm sorry, once you see those, uh, the, the, the enemy attacks deplete buffs, once you see that, it's time to switch over to Dimension Bringer. Because we do not want to get touched. We want the enemy to die. We're also going to regret this. Uh, but yeah, if anyone wonders why I'm on this floor for so long, it's because I keep trying to make videos and then like uh, sorting the inventory and, and crying. Uh, so we're going to try to buff up. Uh, and uh, we're running low on the hunter buff here so we have a problem sometimes we might do that just before we soul burst the boss but to try to get those hunter stacks back up but uh, we don't always have that luxury with these trials on actually that was kind of uh, that was kind of good Okay. Did we lose the buff? I can't actually see. <laughs> Shoot. I, one of these days I'm going to fix my screen so I can see the, uh, the buffs on the second row. So yeah, trying, trying to go quickly into Garo uh, and trying to deny the enemy a chance to breathe. Oh, thank goodness. Pardon me. And that's how things could go. And Tiamat, unfortunately, for her, 
she takes too long on the spawning process that she just goes down. So that's that's the enemy attacks deplete buffs trials in what we'll say just an uncomfortable amount of trials that go on here. Um, but let's go back to Lightbringer for a moment and because this this video was just so long, let's just make it longer. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so let's let's try something else here. Let's go back to Lightbringer. Do you have bosses for me? That's ten bosses. Do we want to do 10 bosses? Don't do it, Ben. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, please. Let, let, it, let it end. Let it end. Nobody wants to say that. No, don't do it. Oh my gosh, why is he going out there to stop the video? Stop it now. <coughs> so, one thing we can do is before you go into a rift that's this long, uh, you drink a Mega Ether. Start at full MP, go into your swap monsters, and feed your monsters. You can feed them all, or you can feed the agility ones, and the, uh, so goblin, wolf, harpy, whoops, and the cactar are all agility, uh, uh, I'm sorry, they are the ones that give you agility. They like the, they like the limbering liver. And then the sahagin. Tonberry, Behemoth, and the Iron Giant. They are the strength monsters, and they give you that strength. So during this next thing, we are going to swap out some of our combo abilities just to get a different feel for how things look. Uh, we're going to do the jumping, jump, jump. Um even if this is uh, not the most efficient use of our MP. Now make sure you start on Hunter. <clears throat> and I'm gonna buff up. Oh, she bu she she buffed us. Shoot. Oh no. Uh, let's do this. Ooh. Okay, wait. Let me think about this. Get the buffs up. I thought I soul shielded that just in time, but I was wrong. That was unnecessary. And then we can leap to them. Poor guy. Astos. It's me, Ash. Ashtos. Wait, is my fist going through him? You know what? It don't even matter. Look at all those nine 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 nine. nine, nine, nine. So, uh, yeah, but you know what? We're not, we don't have any damage dealt Zantet skin, but this is what it might look like. So even without, like, we're not even specialized to do that. And that's just how much the, the physical damage multiplier is working in our favor here. 
Hi. Oh, Sophia, you're so cute with the. Oh, my shoe. Jed. Ah. Okay. Uh, but let's. Yeah, let's refresh our buffs. As uh, ugly as this might look. Punch this man out. And then let's switch to some other combo abilities for now and just we'll see how they perform. Uh, let's use some of these other ones just for giggles. But we'll always end for now with the Aigiri just because. Oh my shoot. Okay, yeah, after this video, I won't be able to do anything with my loot. Oh, great. I, I like decided to switch things like the worst friggin' boss. I quit. You can't fire me. And just kind of try to stay in some of these bosses' face, especially if you have Nightbringer and there's no enemy attack deplete buff trials. Avoid summon Tachi, that's really dangerous. Um, that actually can kill your Nightbringer fast. So, you might think, hey, I don't take any damage. No, that will multiplicatively destroy your Lightbringer when you get hit. Uh, it's in a separate bucket of how much damage you take, too, so you can really get effed really bad. Let's see if we can come up with something. And we just face tank through this. Uh, let's come up with something else. What might look cool? I don't know if it would look cool. But we're just going to try it. We're going to do a Kuraagaha. We're going to try to slide past them. And then, on the other side, we're going to Yaigiri from behind and shove them into... So it'll look like this, like, and once we have a target, oh, we can't go past the target. Shoot, I thought I could slide past her. Am I using the wrong move for that? So yeah, as messy as this all is, we're just trying out different katana combo abilities to just show that at this point it's all overkill. There's there's not too much. My computer's obviously having struggles here. Mm. Oh shoot. Yeah, so not not too exciting to watch, and I think I'm effectively killing any joy that the game might be giving anybody. But we're gonna keep going. Oh shoot, I lost my uh hard shot. stacks back up. I don't like Goten on this. Eh, let's just go back with Hisatsu Murakumo. Who am I fighting? Oh. I was like, who is even, <laughs> who's fighting me because they're not attacking yet? Okay, so yeah, Gilgamesh, Gilgaman, 
Oh shoot, that was the last one. Ow, Sophia. Why? Uh, so let's see how many of these pieces of gear end up in our... Oh shoot, it would help if I can interact with a thing. Oh boy. Did I mention there was going to be timestamps? Oh, shoot. That means I have to go. Okay, nope, never mind. Nope, 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 don't complain, Ben. You friggin' uploaded it. You said it. You need to friggin' follow up. But let's see what Gilgaman has for us. Do you have one or two? <gasps> two. Carbuncle badge, please be blue. Ah, darn it. Okay. Well... In any case, uh, that is what Katana life might look like at the end of the game for the strength-based routes. And uh, just know that you could also do this on some of the other jobs, Dark Knight, Samurai, Ronin. Um, but yeah, I, I think anyone that stood around long enough to watch this stuff, because uh, I know it could be better, and... Uh, I just, yeah, let me let me stop the recording before I say any, anything uh, that will just get me in trouble. So yeah, thanks for watching, and um, maybe we'll see you all next time.